Hello everybody, this video will be a continuation on how the if statement works. Now, um, this video will be talking about the concepts of logic or uh, boolean, so that's, and basically what that means is true or false, the only two options. So when we have a question, the answer is either true or false. And if this concept is new to you, uh, don't freak out, uh, don't, don't quit, don't explode. This will be simple. When you think of a comparison question, 5 is less than 7. Well, this, this is the less than sign, and it's basically saying 5 is less than 7. The way I always remembered it in grade school was like a little alligator. Think of this as an alligator mouth the alligator always wants to eat the bigger number so a seven is the greater than five or you can think of the smaller end five is less than seven so yeah five is less than seven or five is greater than seven that's that's basically a comparison operator which we will be talking about in a really soon upcoming video so if we want this to be true we would have to say five is less than seven and that makes sense because it is see it returns true now if we put seven is less than five well you can see that the alligator is eating the smaller one so that that doesn't make sense so this will return false so 7 is less than 5, that's false. So you can see the only two possibilities are true or false. Now the same concept works for if questions. So if we say, or if statement, sorry, if 5 is less than 7, we want it to say, uh, let's say, if 5 is less than 7, we want it to print true. So now, this is asking if 5 is less than 7. So it's going to run this, and if it returns true, which it will because it is less than 7, we want it to print this is true. So let's try it. Oops, I didn't mean to put that 3. Yeah, let's try it again. So we uh, press enter and it returns this is true. So basically it's a question on whether or not this is true. So we learned that the only two possibilities are true or false. So the if statement questions if it's true. If it's true, it does something. If it's not true, it doesn't do something. So if 5 is less than 7, if this is true, we want it to print this is true. I know I'm just repeating what I just said, but I'm just explaining how it works. It tests if this is true or not. And when we press enter, if it's true, it is true. And it runs the code. Now what if it's false? Let's try it. Let's copy this down here and let's say if 5 is greater than 7, it tests this to see if it's true. If it's false, it doesn't do anything. See, nothing happened. Now with the else statement, the else statement will say, if it's false, we want it to do something else. So now, if 5 is greater than 7, which 5 is not greater than 7, we know it's false, and this should be printed. Let's try it. And it printed, this is false. So we were correct. Now this process applies the same when we use variables. So in the previous video, here let me make some more. All right, age is equal to, or has the value 16, I should say. Now when we say if age is greater than 19, we want it to say you are in your 20s or above. Oops, sorry. So now it's going to test this to see if it's true. If age is greater than 19. Well, when we insert the value 16, 16 is greater than 19, that comes back false. So therefore, we need to, it's not going to do anything. You see, 
Now if we add the else statement, which is what we need to do, we could say, I'm not calling you guys old if you're over 19. I'm just, just making an example. Now, it tests this to see if it's true. Age is greater than 19. It returns false, so it goes to the else, and it prints you are young. So basically, that is how the if statement works. It's uh, true or false. So hopefully that was helpful, and in the next video, we will be talking more about comparisons. So be sure to stick around, and I will see you then. Be sure to subscribe.